Welcome to Dr. Muhammad Muhaizam bin Musa's class. Today, we dive into the world of international trade and finance. This fascinating field is the lifeblood of the global economy, where goods, services, and currencies crisscross borders every second of every day. It's a complex tapestry of transactions and agreements, policies and regulations, all designed to facilitate the smooth exchange of goods and resources. At its core, international trade and finance is about creating prosperity and fostering economic growth. It's about how countries utilize their resources to meet their people's needs and wants. It's about how businesses venture beyond their borders, seeking new markets and opportunities. In the world of international trade and finance, banking plays a pivotal role. It enables transactions, manages risks, and ensures the liquidity necessary for businesses to operate and economies to thrive. This journey into international trade and finance promises to be enlightening. Stick around. Section 1. Overview of Banking and International Trade and Finance Banking plays a crucial role in international trade and finance. Let's unpack this role. In the grand scheme of international trade and finance, banks serve as the indispensable conduits that keep the engine running smoothly. So what exactly do banks do in this arena? Well, they primarily facilitate transactions, provide credit, and manage risks. Imagine a web of trade connections spanning the globe. Banks are the nodes that connect these strands, enabling the flow of goods, services, and capital. They do this by providing a platform for international payments. This function becomes even more crucial given the sheer volume of transactions that occur daily across different countries and currencies. But their role doesn't end there. Banks are also the credit providers, the financial fuel that keeps the wheels of trade turning. Whether it's a local manufacturer looking to explore overseas markets or a multinational corporation funding a new project, banks provide the necessary credit facilities. They assess the creditworthiness of borrowers, determine interest rates, and set repayment terms. In doing so, they enable businesses to expand, innovate, and thrive, contributing to global economic growth. Last but certainly not least, banks are the risk managers. International trade is fraught with uncertainties, fluctuating currency rates, political instability, or even defaults by trading partners. Banks help mitigate these risks through various instruments like forward contracts, currency swaps, and options. They also provide advice on hedging strategies, helping businesses navigate the choppy waters of international trade. All these intricate roles of banks are intertwined, creating a complex yet efficient system that supports global commerce. They ensure that transactions go smoothly, credit is available, and risks are managed. The role of banks in international trade is akin to the circulatory system in the human body. They pump the lifeblood that sustains the global economy. Banks are the lifeblood of international trade, ensuring smooth transactions and risk management. Section 2. Payment Methods in International Trade Payment methods are vital to all trade activities, more so in the international arena. So how do traders choose the most suitable payment method? Let's explore the fascinating world of payment modes in international trade. There are various types of payment modes that traders can leverage, and we'll focus on four main ones. Letters of credit, documentary collections, open account, and cash in advance. Firstly, let's discuss letters of credit. This is a payment method where a bank guarantees the buyer's payment to the sellers as long as certain delivery conditions have been met. Traders use this mode to ensure the safety of the transaction and avoid credit risk. They consider factors such as the buyer's creditworthiness, the banking institution's reputation, and the international trade laws. Next up is documentary collections. This is a payment method that requires the exchange of documents detailing the goods sold before payment is made. Traders manage risk in this scenario by ensuring the documents are accurate and complete and by banking on the trust between the buyer and seller. Then we have the open account. This is a mode of payment where the goods are shipped and delivered before the payment is due. Traders manage this risk by building trustworthy and long-term relationships with their trading partners. Lastly, there's cash in advance. This is a mode where the buyer pays the seller before the goods are shipped. Traders manage this by ensuring they have a reliable buyer who will commit to the transaction. You can think of these payment modes as different pieces of a puzzle. 
Each one is unique, yet they all interconnect to form the bigger picture of payment systems and international trade. And just like a puzzle, traders need to carefully consider how each piece fits into the overall scheme. Remember, the goal of choosing a payment mode is not to eliminate risk entirely. That would be impossible. Instead, the aim is to understand these methods, evaluate them accurately, and deploy them effectively. This way, traders can protect themselves and their businesses, ensuring the stability and security of the international trading system. Choosing the correct mode of payment is critical in international trade, keeping the trading system stable and secure. Section 3. International trade and finance is a vast field with its unique dynamics and risks. Let's delve into it. At its core, international trade and finance is about businesses, banks, and governments conducting economic transactions across national borders. Imagine a scenario where a business in Japan procures raw materials from Brazil, or an American company invests in a startup in India. That's the essence of international trade and finance. Now, you might be wondering, why go international? Well, it provides a broader range of investment opportunities and market access. However, it also brings numerous risks. Firstly, there are risks associated with exchange rate volatility. An unfavorable change in exchange rates can significantly impact the value of international transactions. Secondly, there's the risk of political instability in foreign markets. Political upheavals or changes in government policies can disrupt trade or investment plans. Let's talk about the flow of funds in international trade and finance. Envision a massive web connecting different businesses, banks, and governments across the globe. Funds flow from one node to another across countries facilitated by a complex network of financial transactions. This flow of funds forms an integral part of our interconnected global economy, fueling business expansion, government investment, and individual wealth creation. However, every transaction carries a risk, the risk of default by a trading partner or a sudden shift in financial policies. That's why risk management is a vital part of international trade and finance. It's about identifying, assessing, and managing these risks to ensure the smooth functioning of the global economy. In the end, international trade and finance plays a critical role in our interconnected world. It breaks down barriers, fosters economic growth, and brings us all closer together. International trade and finance connect the world, allowing businesses and economies to navigate risks and thrive. Section 4. Treasury management is the unsung hero of international trade and finance. Let's shine a light on its role. It's time to pull back the curtain on this critical function. Treasury management, at its core, is about the strategic oversight of an organization's financial holdings. It's the big picture view, the master plan of a company's financial resources and liquidity. Imagine a vast ocean of financial transactions, each wave representing a different currency, a different country, a different risk. Now, picture a seasoned captain at the helm of a mighty ship navigating these tumultuous waters. That captain is the treasury manager, charting the course for the company's financial journey. The main responsibility of treasury management is to make informed decisions about investment and funding. It's about navigating the highs and lows of financial markets, understanding the complexities of different investment vehicles, and knowing when to hold back or forge ahead. Imagine a chess player meticulously strategizing each move, considering the potential consequences and rewards. That's treasury management in action. It's a game of strategy, a dance between risk and reward. The role of treasury management doesn't stop at investment decision-making. It also involves managing the organization's liquidity, ensuring there are enough resources to meet the demands of the business. This means balancing short-term liabilities and assets, maintaining a steady cash flow, and safeguarding against financial risks. In the context of international trade and finance, treasury management takes on an even more critical role. The stakes are higher, the variables more numerous exchange rates, geopolitical risks, regulatory changes, these are all factors that a treasury manager must consider when making decisions on a global scale. Treasury management is like the rudder of a ship, guiding the organization through the turbulent waters of the global financial market. Without it, a company could find itself adrift, 
vulnerable to the unpredictable currents of international trade and finance. So let's take a moment to appreciate the unsung hero of international trade and finance. Because without effective treasury management, navigating the complex world of global finance would be like sailing without a compass. Effective treasury management ensures financial efficiency and health, a key aspect of international trade and finance. We've explored the vast field of international trade and finance. What are the key takeaways? Well, we've journeyed from the broad vistas of international trade and finance to the intricate networks of banking that underpin it. We've seen that banks play a pivotal role in making global commerce possible, acting as the lifeblood that keeps the world's economies interconnected and vibrant. Then, we delved into the realm of risk management, understanding how banks navigate the choppy waters of international trade, mitigating risks, and ensuring smooth transactions across borders. Our exploration took us further into the specifics of international banking, shedding light on the unique challenges and opportunities that come with operating in different jurisdictions. Finally, we touched upon treasury management, the art of managing an organization's holdings to meet its financial obligations while minimizing risk. So there you have it, a whistle-stop tour of the intriguing world of international trade and finance. Thank you for joining Dr. Mohammed Muhaizam bin Musa's class. Keep exploring, keep learning.